Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a monster film called Anaconda Mountain. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Somewhere inside a mysterious forest, a bunch of shamans are performing a secret ritual in front of a stone temple. The people begin conjuring their spells towards a large serpent, while a young woman called Mei is praying on the ground. Very soon, a powerful blue aura begins to appear as it all gathers around the center and causing the snake tremendous pain. The energy eventually flows towards an older woman who's the young girl's mother as the people try desperately to heal her illness. However, the ritual quickly comes to a stop while the shamans begin to leave the area as they tell the girl that the ceremony has failed. This causes Mei to rush towards her mother right away as she cries hopelessly while eventually witnessing the woman's death. What she didn't expect was for the soul of her mother to transfer into the serpent's egg which quickly caused a hatchling to come out. The woman holds on to the animal that's glowing red and decides to keep it for herself while thinking that it's her mother mother's reincarnation. Very soon, Mei's brother Lo rushes towards the area and sees the terrible ritual that has been done while eventually adopting the second egg to prevent any future disasters. 30 years later, the red serpent has turned into a gigantic monster that constantly preys on the travelers inside the mountain and devouring the people like human buffets. The incidents are quickly discovered by a news reporting company that's owned by the main character Shen and his girlfriend Lin, but all the workers have trouble believing something so outlandish. Before the reporters can discuss any further, they're quickly interrupted by a bunch of soldiers who begin threatening the workers at gunpoint. It turns Turns out that Shen has borrowed a lot of money from the government, and the police captain is demanding that they repay the loans immediately. Realizing that they have no other choice, Shen promises to get the money within the week as long as they don't hurt anyone here. The police officer hears this and decides to pull back as he orders all his men to leave immediately, but the workers have no idea how to pay back the money in time. Luckily, one of the reporters called Zoli reveals that he has a way while showing his colleagues the photo of a giant serpent that he found on the victims of the nearby mountain. If they can somehow acquire more proof of the creature's existence, they're sure to make enough money to pay back the loans. The people quickly begin packing their gears and preparing to track down the giant monster as they leave the confines of the city while heading directly for the mysterious mountains. The team eventually arrives onto the island as they continue venturing forwards and the main character suggests that they should split up to to cover more grounds. Shen decides to go with his friend Zilan to search the deeper parts of the forest, while Zoli goes with his girlfriend Lina to look for a nearby vantage point. The young couple eventually arrives towards the entrance of a cave, but the woman quickly realizes that something is wrong as she sees a gigantic centipede crawling towards them. This causes them to run immediately, but Zoli is attacked right away by the monster that's planning to devour his flesh. Luckily, before the people can be killed, a flying dagger hits the creature right on the head and stunning it in place while a mysterious woman called Shirley jumps in for the rescue. The people head back towards the others immediately while they try to patch up Zoli's wounds, and Shen is shocked to hear what just happened to his friends. He tries to thank the mysterious girl for saving his people, but she only tells them to leave right away before disappearing into the forest. Before they can decide on what to do next, they're quickly interrupted by Zilan who tells the reporters that he discovers something very strange. It turns out that the man has found a ceremonial ground, and the people realize by looking at the stone carvings that this must be somehow related to the origins of the giant serpent. What's even more surprising is that they're quickly able to find a huge piece of skin that can only belong to the enormous creature, which means that they're close to finding the monster. Before the people can celebrate their new discoveries, a gigantic shadow begins to form behind the group, and the humans quickly realize that something is very wrong. The reporters turn back slowly in fear while they see the massive reptile appearing right in front of them as it prepares to devour all the humans. Luckily, Shen is able to quickly react as he tries distracting the monster.
monster while giving everyone a chance to run. The people sprint across the forest while running desperately for their lives, as the giant serpent is chasing them closely behind and crushing down everything in the way. The humans are eventually able to make it onto a large hill where they see the entrance of a giant cave, and the people are forced to go inside to hide from the approaching monster. The team carefully ventures into the cave as they descend further into the area that's filled by darkness while having no clue as to what dangers are waiting for them. The people eventually arrive into a large tunnel that's filled by spider webs, and they quickly see that numerous skeletons are hanged upside down on the ceiling. Shen realizes that they're in serious trouble as he thinks that this may actually be the giant serpent's home. Very soon, one of the reporters called Fan notices that the enormous creature is already here as it surrounds the people from the outside. This forces the humans to run once again while the monster chases behind them immediately. The people sprint across the numerous tunnels and quickly getting separated as a result while the serpent is hunting for them by following their smell. Luckily, Shen is able to avoid the monster, but Zilan is not so fortunate as he wanders directly into the animal's chamber while the creature appears right behind him. The monster approaches slowly towards the reporter while planning to devour the human, but Zilan is able to think quickly and distract the creature towards the other side. This gives him a chance to escape while the monster is protecting its nest. However, instead of running away, the man decides to capture the photo of the giant creature, which gets him into more trouble as the monster chases after him once again. The man eventually runs into Zoli and the others while putting everyone in danger of being devoured by the giant serpent. The massive animal begins pursuing the young couple and chasing them furiously inside the tunnel while the two tries desperately to escape from the area. Unfortunately, the people are not able to shake off the approaching monster and are eventually forced into a larger tunnel where the serpent is chasing after them from the walls. This quickly forces the people into a corner with nowhere to run. Zoli realizes that they're going to die and plans to make the ultimate sacrifice as he begins yelling at the serpent so that Lina has a chance to escape. This causes the monster to devour the man right in front of his girlfriend while stunning the woman in disbelief as she's completely paralyzed by the fear. Just before Lina can be killed, the mysterious woman appears once again as she begins playing her flute and causing the snake tremendous pain. Very soon, Shen is able to arrive as well and sees that the monster is shaking violently. The man quickly takes the chance to save Lina by getting her away from the area, but the serpent manages to regain control and knocks Shirley across the field. Shen sees this and rushes back immediately to help the girl while saving her from the giant serpent's attacks. The people eventually manage to locate the exit as their other friends have made it here as well and the humans quickly begin climbing the rocks to escape the area. The team manages to make it out one by one while the main character is the last one to get up but the serpent has no intention of letting him escape. The creature grabs onto the man's backpack and tries to pull him back inside but Shen manages to eventually break free and finally makes it out with everyone's help. The people take the chance and quickly escape from the area as they venture back inside the forest where they're finally able to catch their breath. However, Pan quickly begins freaking out after witnessing his friend's death and starts blaming everyone for everything that's happening to him. The main character hears this and tries to calm his friend down while demanding that Shirley tell them exactly who she is. It turns out that the woman is actually a guardian for the giant snakes and she's here to stop the red serpent that was corrupted by the ritual from 30 years ago. The previous guardian, Mei, tried to use the serpent's power to heal her mother's illness only to fail and causing the animal to mutate as well. She eventually took the creature in as she thinks that it's the reincarnation of her mother while her brother Lo, who's also Shirley's master, chose to adopt the other green snake. As the time passed by, the red serpent quickly grew bigger and stronger while developing the taste for life animals. Its guardian eventually grew old as well, but instead of feeding the creature livestock, she decided to allow the serpent to devour the unfortunate souls who came into the mountains. Shirley explains that the giant animals are celestial in nature and it's their destiny to become dragons while obtaining the power of gods. However, the red serpent has decided to complete its evolution by devouring humans, which is why they have to help the green snake destroy its brother once and for all. The next morning, when the people 
eventually wake up, they realize in shock that two of their friends are somehow missing. It's quickly revealed that Pen has decided to leave all his friends behind as he refuses to look for the serpent anymore. What he doesn't realize is that he's been followed by someone else, who quickly knocks him out as a result. When the man eventually regains consciousness, he realizes that he's tied up by his friend Zilan, who takes out a knife and cuts the man without hesitation. It turns out that Zilan plans to use the victim's blood to lure the serpent towards them so that he can gather more proof of the creature's existence. Very soon, the people begin hearing a terrifying noise from the serpent that's approaching closer while Zilan quickly hides from a distance. The monster eventually towers over the helpless man and begins launching forwards as it opens its massive jaws and devours the human in a single bite. Zilan sees this and begins taking photographs but also alerting the monster towards him as the creature approaches to devour him as well. Suddenly, Shen arrives into the area and sees that the man is in danger, which makes him try to distract the monster towards him instead. Luckily, Shirley arrives and begins playing her flute, which disables the monster temporarily and allowing the others to run. However, the serpent manages to snap out of it while striking the people and knocking them onto the ground. The giant snake approaches the main character as it plans to finally finish the kill. Just before Shen can be devoured, a second flute begins to play and stunning the creature once again as Master Lo has decided to help the people as well. This allows them to get back onto their feet and quickly escaping away from the area while the evil guardian has come to retrieve her monster. The people eventually arrive into Shirley's home while the woman introduces them to the green serpent that quickly sends the people cowering back in fear. The woman assures them that the animal will never harm a human being as the creature has never consumed a single life. The guardian eventually brings the group down the mountain and tells them to follow the road no matter what happens until they return back into the city. However, after walking for countless hours, the people decided to take a break as they see a large building on the edges of the forest. The team quickly head towards the house as they wish to find a place to stay for the night and eventually meets an old woman who welcomes the people in without hesitation. The people decide to accept the hospitality as they finally have a resting place for the night, but Lin quickly begins to feel that something is not right. She looks at the old woman suspiciously and eventually notices a familiar object on the wall. Lin recognizes the talisman immediately as the same one that was worn by Shirley as well. This makes her realize that the old woman is actually the evil guardian as she rushes towards the main character to warn them that they're inside the enemy's home. After recognizing the danger, the people rush inside immediately to look for their friend, but only to see that Lena has disappeared alongside the old woman. Suddenly, the windows and doors are closed in by an outside force that traps the people inside the building with nowhere to go. It turns out that Lena has been taken into the garden where the giant serpent has appeared in front of her as well and causing the woman to scream in fear. Luckily, before the girl is killed, Shen breaks open the window and throws a chair directly towards the monster. This turns the creature's attention towards the people inside as it slowly enters into the building and preparing to devour the main character instead. Shen sees the approaching monster and knocks the enemy right on the head, but the attack is not very effective at all as it only makes the animal even angrier. The serpent eventually manages to surround the people completely, but Shen is able to conjure up a plan as he begins luring the monster away from his girlfriend. The man starts yelling at the giant snake and causing it to launch in directly towards the walls while giving the people a chance to escape from the window. They rush towards Lena immediately as they try to free the girl while the main character begins distracting the monster away from his friends. The man tries desperately to dodge the creature's furious attacks but is eventually knocked away like a flying ragdoll. Zilan sees this and quickly runs outside to escape but ends up tripping right in front of the animal and nearly getting killed as well. However, the man is able to push Lina towards the giant serpent, which allows the creature to devour the girl in a single bite and giving him the chance to escape. This turns the monster towards the remaining survivors as it quickly captures the humans by using its giant body while squeezing them to a painful death. Luckily, before the people can be killed, the green snake charges in and throws the enemy onto the ground while saving the humans at the same time. It turns out that the guardians are here to stop the old woman from committing any more crimes 
times and defeating the Red Serpent once and for all. However, Mei refuses to give up as she begins commanding her monster and causing it to rush into the forest while the Green Serpent follows it closely behind. The creatures eventually arrive onto a large temple as they prepare to have a final showdown and become the only celestial dragon. The monsters roar furiously towards each other while the Green Serpent strikes the enemy first and causing the Red Snake to retreat immediately. The Evil Serpent rushes towards the other side while its brother follows closely behind and the humans have arrived inside the battlefield as well. Master Lo tells the Evil Guardian to stop her madness, but Mei has no intention of giving up as she begins using her instrument and forcing the snake to continue fighting. The Red Serpent charges in towards the Green Snake and knocks away the opponent as it tries to make the finish strike. Luckily, the Green Serpent is able to counter immediately and bites the enemy right on the neck while tossing the evil creature away using tremendous force. Mei sees that her monster is quickly losing the fight while the massive Green Serpent is screaming in fury. The woman decides to use her own life energy to increase the monster's power as she manages to heal the serpent's wounds and binding her soul onto the creature. This manages to revive the giant monster as it quickly rises up with power surging through its body while planning to battle the green snake once more. The evil serpent roars furiously towards the opponent and tries continuously to strike the green serpent's neck. The creature eventually manages to knock the green snake onto the walls while slapping the opponent's head onto the ground. Surprisingly, the green serpent refuses to accept the feat as it climbs onto the buildings to continue its battle against the evil monster. The two serpents quickly launch in towards each other as they struggle to gain the upper hand. However, the red snake eventually manages to bite onto the opponent's neck and throws it crashing onto the ground while roaring furiously towards everyone. This forces Master Lo to use his magic towards the green serpent as well and quickly healing its wounds while causing the creature to grow gigantic wings on its back. The green snake launches forwards in fury and quickly bites onto the enemy's neck while pulling the red snake into the air. The celestial creature eventually eventually turns around as it slams the red serpent onto the ground. The evil creature manages to get up once again to continue the battle, but the green serpent throws a barrage of flames directly onto its enemy and burning it into a crisp. Mei watches hopelessly as her monster is turned into ashes, which causes her to fall onto the ground and quickly die as well. The giant green serpent eventually lands onto the building and roars furiously in victory. The people watches in amazement as the creature begins launching into the air and eventually joining the thunder clouds while causing numerous lightnings to strike onto its body. This causes the serpent to break through its own skin and quickly turning into a celestial dragon as a result. At the same time, Zilan sees the incredible transformation and tries taking even more pictures but only ends up being hit by the lightning instead which kills him instantly. The celestial dragon eventually lands back onto the temple to thank its human friends before launching into the heavens and disappearing alongside the clouds. The sunlight eventually returns while Shen thanks the guardians for saving their lives as he walks into the distance with a story that will shock the entire human race. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.